But man, it's just such a blast to, to kind of defy physics in a truck that's got 1,500 horsepower like that. It's one of the most electrifying events in North America, Monster Jam, where these gigantic machines will be flying through the air, defying the laws of gravity, and put on a thrilling show for the people of Vancouver. All I could say is expect the unexpected. We do things in these trucks every single weekend that I would have never thought is possible. That's where they'll see backflips. That's where they'll see probably some crashes and just what I would call control chaos. Monster Jam's truly as big as it gets. So this is one of the six monster trucks that's going to be at the Monster Jam event here at the PNE Coliseum and this thing weighs about 12,000 pounds and it will be doing flips insane stuff in the air and my good friend Bryce here who talked to me about one of these monster trucks that he drives he's gonna show me inside and take a first glance look at right. what it actually looks like inside one of these insane machines All right, ready go, go for it It's more intimidating than it looks, believe me. Each truck has the seat bolted down for more stability during aerial tricks, a complex engine panel for back tire controls, and two sets of shocks for each tire, which weigh about 600 pounds each. Not to mention the safety gear. Each driver is also equipped with a fireproof suit, just in case. So I could be lit on fire right now and you could light me on fire for five minutes. I'd be completely fine and then just get extinguished, put out, and go on to the next one. Has a, have you ever been on fire before? Eh, next question. And that's as drivers, that's what we're trying to do. You're kind of in fight or flight mode. As a driver, you're always in fight mode. It's you versus, it's man versus machine. And you're trying to make sure that you're the one that, that wins that night for all these awesome Monster Jam fans to get excited about. Monster Jam kicks off their first show on Saturday with their weekend finale on Sunday. In Vancouver, Joe Sadowski, City News.